Hello. We're going to ask the question today, should I practice for exams doing lots of past papers? I'm Lorraine Yardberg. And I'm Katie Craze and we work at JK Educate. This is a question that I get all the time. Parents seem to think that the only way to practice for exams is practicing lots and lots of papers. That may sound very obvious, um, but it's really not. Because what people don't seem to appreciate is that practicing pa uh, papers just gives you practice doing papers. It doesn't tell you, did I get them right? It doesn't tell you, how do I improve? It doesn't tell you, why did I get it wrong? These are the issues that are really interesting. The papers are important, but not as important as what happened afterwards. And I often say to parents, it's the time spent afterwards analysing the mistakes that really makes the difference for your child and the way they're going to accelerate their learning. When we look at papers and the answers that the children have given, we look at them and we divide them up into three different sections. We look at what sort of silly mistakes the children have made. Did they read the question properly? Or do they simply just not know the answer? And each of those answers in themselves bring about a different discussion. And that's something that you or your tutor would be dealing with regularly. And that may take a good amount of time after the exam the paper has been sat. So for example, when a child has sat a paper, you may then spend an hour or two over the next week or so just analysing those results and analysing the mistakes, doing some revision work on areas that are clearly not known and maybe even the concepts haven't been learned properly. There's an enormous amount of information that comes out of just sitting one paper. So I really try hard to advise parents not to go about sitting lots and lots of papers. That is not the best way to get ready for exams. So I would like to just reiterate, papers are fantastic, but not as great as what comes after the event. And what about um, when parents say to you, well, I should only do the past papers of the schools that I'm sitting. There's no point in my child sitting past papers of other schools' papers that are out there that are easily downloadable. What would your advice be for that? Well, I would say there are two issues here. One is when you're sitting for a school A, for example, yes, of course, you want lots of practice if you can get it in school A papers. The problem is that there aren't that many school A papers around usually, and some schools don't even publish papers. So what do you do? Well, what we do is we analyse all the schools and all the papers and then we match them. So what you would be doing is a school A type of paper that would be totally suitable for your child to practice on all the things that we've just talked about and be able to then face that school A paper when they sit it for real. So if people are wanting to practice lots of school A papers, you can't. You would have to go and find similar type papers and use those instead. Mm -hmm. And I think sometimes parents get really confused with this because they can't understand why we would recommend you know, a school B paper for a school A. Uh, it doesn't make sense to them until they realise that it's just a type of paper mm -hmm. that we're looking at. And then of course you do need the school A type of paper to make sure you've got the exam technique right for just that school. Um, a lot of schools, for example, have started recording their instructions and that can be quite disconcerting if a child's never practiced that technique before. So I think it's very important to analyse the type of papers that you're going to be sitting but then match them with other papers that are similar. An average parent may not have that understanding or that expertise and that's why it's quite good to get it elsewhere with consultants like us um, who will be able to provide that type of information and security knowing that you're practicing the right sort of papers. Today we've been looking at the issue of practicing papers. I hope it's been helpful for you.